More than 20 years after her sister's murder, Deborah Oliver says her family has been silent long enough. Jimmy is not guilty. He didn't murder my sister. But another family member, cousin Heather Stobbs, was disowned after supporting Rodney Reed. Everybody says, ooh, there's DNA. They stopped and they didn't look at anything else. Stobbs says Reed deserves another trial. We'll meet Stacy's cousin Heather later in the program. We reached out to Stacy's sisters, and although they didn't want to be part of this discussion, which I respect and understand, they wanted to make sure people understood their position regarding Rodney, and they provided us with this statement. Over the past 20 plus years, an elaborate story has been created trying to blame my sister's murder on her fiance. The stories supporting Rodney always fail to tell the whole truth. They don't mention that Rodney had been accused of rape before, but he was acquitted of that case because that victim was his, quote, secret girlfriend. They fail to mention that he is indicted in several other rape cases. They fail to mention that six months after murdering my sister, Rodney attempted to abduct a woman. That victim was able to get away and identified Rodney as the man that attacked her. Rodney Reed is a brutal rapist and murderer. My sister was young and in love and getting married. Her life was taken by Rodney Reed. We are confident that the right man is on death row. Stacy's sister's position is that Rodney has a violent past. Yet he was never convicted of any other charges, nor was he indicted on what she said he was indicted on. When I sat down with Rodney, I asked point blank about his past sexual assault allegations. Here's what he had to say. Now, do you have any idea why they zeroed in on you to begin with? Because they had to test that DNA against yours in order to know it was you. Why you? There was other allegations before in my past that was not true because I didn't do any of that. What were the allegations in the past? Uh, assault cases. The assault cases that they have brought up uh, about you in the past were that you have assaulted other females and they brought some of those to court, right? Yes, they did. To make those allegations, including uh, accusing you of raping a 12-year-old girl. They were accusing me of all that stuff. Did you ever rape a 12-year-old girl? No, I didn't. Did you ever have any kind of contact with a 12-year-old no, girl? No, I don't do that stuff. So why have you been accused of multiple I situations of I sexual violence? I believe jealousy and, and anger played a lot in that. I can't tell you what goes on through a person's mind to make them say certain things. Why were you never charged? Why were you never convicted of any of those things? That's something that the state would have to answer. I, they brought that stuff in to make it appear, I guess they were trying to dehumanize me the best way they could in front of the jury. So these cases that they brought up where they said you had assaulted other women, you're saying none of that is true? None of that's true. The charges have been dropped, dismissed, I've been acquitted. In fact, we have been trying to get the DNA testing done on that stuff. So you're not trying to hide anything here. You're saying if you got those allegations, bring them out. Yes. Them. Did you buy that, what he just said? That it was all about people being jealous and, uh, I mean, is it gonna be racism? Is it jealousy against Rodney? The world's out to get him. Why do seven women come and testify, ready to testify in his death penalty case? And some of them did in the punishment phase. In the hashtag Me Too generation that we live in, why are these women not being given any credence whatsoever? Why are we gonna believe this guy. So. Dr. Phil. Well, hang on. No, he asked me a question. I'm going to answer it. 